In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating how to make an image of an 8-ball, like the one shown here. For this example, I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. To start, I'm going to select the Circle tool, and I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I draw a circle, and I'm also going to hold down the Control key so I get a nice symmetrical circle. Now I'm going to press on the selection arrow here and just move this up a little bit. And then next, this has a border around it or a stroke. And I want to turn that off. So I'm going to go down here to where this says stroke and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select remove stroke. And then next, I'm going to change the color to kind of a brownish orange color. And I'm doing this so that the black 8-ball appears to be reflecting an orangish color. And next, I'm going to select the Gradient tool. And I'm going to make sure that the Radial Gradient button is pressed. And then I'm going to go up to the top left portion of this and press and hold the left mouse button. And then I'm going to drag this down to about here. And since this handle is selected right here that you see in blue, I can go over to the color palette now and change the color to black. And that will give me a variable gradient that changes from complete black at this point right here to the orangish color that I originally selected right here. And next I'm going to select the circle tool again. And I'm going to draw another circle again while I'm holding the control key and then I'm going to change the color of this circle to white and then I'll go up to the selection button here so that I can select my circle and then I'm going to move it into position right here and then I'm going to select the gradient tool again and this time I'm going to go up and select the linear gradient button and then I'll come here and I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down and that's going to shade the bottom of this a kind of gray color and let the top of it be a brighter white and then next I'm going to select the text tool and then I'll come here and I'm going to press the number 8 and then I'll press the selection button here again and then come down and I'm going to resize this 8 by dragging one of the corners down. And then I'm going to put this in the center. And then next I want to add a light border around this 8. And I'm going to do that by pressing and holding the shift key while I select kind of a light gray color. And now since the bottom of this white circle is dark, you'll see the gray border around the 8 at the bottom here. But at the top of the circle where it's really light, you don't see it as much. And that gives it kind of a nice effect. And then next I'm going to add the shine that you see on top of the ball. So I'm going to left click on the ball right here to select it. And then I'm going to press Control D to make a copy and then I'm going to change the color of this copy to white and then I'm going to grab this arrow at the bottom here and while I'm holding the control key I'm just going to bring this arrow up to make this smaller to make this circle smaller and I'm holding the control key at the same time so that I can come up in a straight line and then I'm going to go over to one of these side arrows and while I'm pressing and holding the shift key I'm going to press the left mouse button and drag this out a little bit and by holding the shift key it allows both sides of this circle to be stretched out in the same proportions and then next I'm going to go up to the path menu and I'm going to select object to path 
then that will allow me to go over to the node tool and grab an individual node and I'm interested in the one in the bottom right here and then I'm just going to press the left mouse button and while I'm holding the left mouse button I'm going to drag this up and I'm just trying to distort the shape of this circle a little bit and then next I'll go over to the gradient tool and again I want to make sure that I have the linear gradient button set and I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down and then I'll move the top of this up a little bit too and there we have our finished 8 ball that has a shine on top of it. Well thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and leave a comment. Have a great day!